Gilbert, Gilbert, I mean, please, you're confusing me. Dean Hill. There's nothing to be confused about. Dean Hill is not here tonight. I'm next on list of person in charge. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not. That's not what. That's not what it means. That's not the way it works. I'm the OVW heavyweight champion. Yes. Gilbert. But that doesn't mean that you're in charge when Dean Hill's not here. Dean Hill's not here, so I'm gonna run stuff tonight. I'm, I'm the boss. I'm gonna find that masked man. Oh. I'm in charge. I've seen this masked man. I swear, I haven't seen him. Go find him. You need to go find the masked man. Oh, oh, come on. Thompson and Destiny. I'm gonna give that masked clown the opportunity to come out right now. I'll just go back there and get your ass. Move has been like a terrorist! Oh, oh he's gonna get fined for that for sure tonight. Hey. Smooth, what is Smooth doing? Smooth got Ted! Smooth, come on! Oh, this isn't a boss! Josh, Josh! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome OVW's commissioner, Dean Hill. Dean, you know I'm a reporter by trade, and when you grabbed me by my, my collar here, it was a flashback to last week. So let me catch you up of what happened while you were away on business. Our OVW heavyweight champion, the Trinidad Titan, Justin Smooth, he terrorized this place last week. He assaulted four women. He brutalized every broadcaster on the roster, including myself. He was a one-man chaos Machine. Now, the question that I've had all week, the question that all of us have had all week is, what are you going to do about it? Is he going to be fined? Is he going to be suspended? Is he going to be stripped? Is he going to be fired? Tell us, what is Dean Hill's law? There's a couple things to deal with. While I've been gone, smooth isn't the only problem we've had. We've also got something else that I have to deal with. A young man that, that broke my heart. I was his biggest fan. And he lied to me. And I need to dress that, dress assured, smooth is going to be punished. But I've got to deal with this first. And I need dimes in the ring. Dimes. I was, <laughs> I was your biggest fan. I gave you the opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, 
a bit of a suspension, but you still had a wrestling career in front of you here at OVW. Then all of a sudden, somebody starts showing up in a mask. Could it be you? Yes, it could have been. Could it have been somebody else? Possibility. There's more than one person in the world your size and your shape. And I knew that at some point, I was going to find out who that person was. And at that point, I was going to deal with that man's career. And then I watch footage where you reveal, in fact, that it's you. And I knew at that point, you had backed me into a corner where I only had one chance. And I actually, I threw the remote control down and I walked out of my room knowing that I was going to have to remove you from the OVW roster. But then, I decided to go back in and watch it again. And as I watched it again, and I saw you remove your mask, I realized that, hold on, he's actually doing this, he's actually taking this bullet to save not only Gilbert and the other ladies out here, but you were doing this and taking this bullet to save Brittany. And then I realized at that moment that perhaps you have learned your lesson. So I have decided you're going to have a punishment, and your punishment is going to be called time served. In other words, you're reinstated as of right now. Dimes is back on the full-time active roster. Oh, now wait a minute. complete rough shot out here last week, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm sorry. Time served. Time served. He's been here every single week putting his nasty hands on me. You must be the stupidest commissioner I've ever seen in my life. If you don't guarantee my safety, if you don't do something with this nuisance, Dean, I will. You have lost your mind. You must be an imbecile. I'm telling you right now. I've, I've decided you are going to be. You're going to be Dean Hill. You think you're going to be Dean Hill? Ain't no way, big dog. I'm telling you right now. I decided there's something I could do about this. I decided I could strip that title off of you right this very second. Uh, it's your title, it's my title, it's my title, and I'm just letting you hold it. Understand something else. I thought about this. Not only can I take that title off of you, I could take that title off of you and suspend you for the next 90 days. But then, but then, but then, it dawned on me that when I reinstated dimes he has unfinished business he still has a heavyweight title rematch due to him and so i thought to myself the only thing better would be to give him a shot but 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 You've got a heavyweight title match coming on uh, our next Saturday night special with Dustin Jackson, and I, I, can't, I can't punish Dustin. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thought the only thing better than stripping that title, the only thing better than suspending you, is putting you into the ring against the two men that you can't figure out. The two men that want you more than anybody. The two men that could rock your world. So, the next Saturday Night Special, heavyweight title on the line, 
you, Dustin, Dimes, three-way dance. What? Three-way dance? Raising the stage to the main event at the Saturday Night Special tonight. Dimes, Dustin Jackson, and the Trinidad Titan with the OVW Heavyweight title on the line. Wait, Doc, Doc, what are you doing? You call that justice? You call that justice? You're not gonna fire his ass? If this happened in any other session, he would be fired and he wouldn't work again. He would be arrested. That's a damn crock. Whoa. This man assaulted women. He put hands on my wife, the wife that you were the minister for. You married us, Dean, and you're gonna do me like that? You're just gonna let him off and have a match? If you're not gonna fire him, I want him in this ring, and I want it now. I understand he's the champion. I understand he's twice my size, and he can rip my head off. Well, he will have to knock me out, he'll have to put me in a coma, or he will have to kill me because I will not stop until I get my hands on him. Do it for me, Dean. Do it for me, then do it for Brittany. Ted McNailer imploring Dean Hill. You know, I, 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 had to, I had not considered, I had not considered what it would feel like if he had put his hands on my wife. So I tell you what, you want him right here, right now, and the look that I see in your eyes, and the look that I see in your bride's eyes, send me a referee, you got it. Dean Hill making it official. We're, we're gonna get Dr. Man Beast versus Justin Smooth here tonight. Wait a second, that's, Hey, that's Daniel Spitzer. Daniel Spitzer, has, he's that same referee that got laid out by Justin Smooth just last week. Hey, we got to take a timeout. Man Beast is back in action. He's leaving the broadcast booth, and hopefully he's giving Smooth a butt kicking. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. It doesn't matter if you go out a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. Welcome back into Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road, an unpredictable start to OVW television this week. My normal broadcast colleague, Dr. Ted McNaylor, is incensed and in the ring. He has challenged the OVW heavyweight champion in Justin Smooth because Smooth laid hands on the doc's wife, Brittany, last week. Yeah, Daddy did. He didn't just lay hands on Brittany. He laid hands on almost everyone out here. Yeah, but he the held of Shannon. He held smooth. Held Brittany hostage. Daddy did. And Ted oh, McNaylor oh. has been searing all week. Now let's not forget that McNaylor is a trained professional wrestler. He just hasn't been in an active competition in quite some time. Screw trained professional wrestler. This is a man defending his wife. He's fighting with his heart. Oh, oh gosh. Ted just hit like a sack of potatoes on the outside of the ring. 
I don't think he knew what hit him whatsoever. He got blindsided by Smooth. Ooh. And I always question when people make decisions on heart instead of head, instead of thinking things through. Yes, Ted has been a tag team champion. He, he's been a, a television Ooh. champion. Oh gosh, he hit hard many times. But guys, he's not been in regular in-ring in competition for Wow, I, I can't even tell you how long. And when you step in the ring with the Trinidad Titan, with the OVW heavyweight champion, who's willing to do anything and break any rule, well, you gotta be at your best. You better watch what you're saying. He's looking over here again. He may take you out just like he did last week. Shannon the Dude joining us at the broadcast booth because Ted McNaylor went into action, and that's the third time, third or fourth time on the floor. Has Ted lost his mind or what? What is he doing? I, I know he's standing up for his wife. I get that. But does he realize what he's doing? And I wish we could get a shot of Brittany because she is almost in tears at ringside watching this all unfold. And look at this. Smooth just rolling a shoulder in to break the counter referee, Daniel Spencer. That's right. He is just oh. unleashing the punishment, taking his time methodically. Look at this. Just punking him right now. You know, usually we, we pride ourselves on, on being neutral. Look, what kind of bully? What kind of bully is the Trinidad Titan? Pushing around the cameraman, assaulting. Pushing oh, around no. the cameraman. Hang on, he just ripped the mats up off the floor here, Gilbert. He's not going to do this. Smooth has exposed that concrete. No. What does he have in mind here? Don't do this. Don't do no. this. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good job, Ted. Doc goes to the ass and he just runs smooth head first to that ring post. You know, sometimes you can't be neutral. Smooth assaulted four women last week. Every broadcaster we had on the staff, including myself and those backstage. Well, he did come on, me. come on, Ted. You're not just doing oh, it no, for Brittany, no. you're doing it for all of us. Brittany doesn't like to see that one either, I can guarantee you that. Oh, 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 oh good street God. justice. Street justice from the top rope to the floor. Oh my God, Ted is out. Oh, McNaylor seeing stars. The best thing for him would do, just be lay down there, let the ref count to 10, walk off and let this thing go. Agony written all over the face of Ted McNaylor and that same pain. Brittany Devere here at ringside is feeling that same pain. Smooth is not going to let that happen though. Look at him just coming right after McNaylor. Wanted to unleash a little more pain it looks like. And at ringside not only do you see you there you see him in the back of your screen in front of us here. That's Dimes. Dimes was under that mask all along and today since this afternoon Dean Hill gave Dimes credit for time served. Bottom line Dimes is back full time on the OVW roster, and Dimes now in a three way dance at the Saturday Night Special. Yeah, out of nowhere, Dimes gets thrown into a three way dance. Dustin Jackson, Dimes, Justin Smooth for the heavyweight championship. Hold on, what's wait, Smooth wait, wait, doing wait. here? What's Smooth doing here? And Dimes doing the same thing he did last week, really coming to all of our aid. Standing between Smooth and Brittany Devereux. Smooth doesn't care who you are, obviously. Man, woman, animal, it doesn't matter. Smooth brought shame to his name. He brought shame to OVW last week. Hang he on, hang on! Shame to the heavyweight championship and Doc fight back! Oh. Ted with rights and lefts to the midsection of Justin Smooth. Ted just can't put it together. Has this one ever, oh. uh, ever become official? I, I know the bell rang, but Smooth has exercised the full extent of the count and then some. Gosh! Oh. Ted just thrown shoulder first into those hard steel steps. Unforgiving. I mean, he's outpowered. And something that was bad just went from bad to worse. Yeah, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Doc's going to need his own doc after this one. McNaylor is out on his feet. McNaylor can barely even stand. That may be the best situation for him right now. Rolling back into the ring where there's less weapons out here. And smooth now pointing at Brittany Devere. And again, McNaylor has been in ring wars before, but he has been out of hang active on, competition. Hang on, Gilbert. Look at this! Oh. Justice, that's the second one of the match. The first one caught Duck at the temple. That one caught him square in the mouth. That you could be it. That could be blame, it. You can't blame Tech McNaylor, guys. I mean, he had to watch his wife held hostage. One, two, and... Oh! You had him beat, Seriously? Smooth. Come on! Look at the concern. The concern in Britney's it's face. Not, it's not about winning a match. And the helplessness, the helplessness from Dr. Ted McNaylor. This is all about proving a point. 
And I don't think he's proved his point yet. What point is Smooth trying to prove? He is trying to prove that, that he's that a he bully? Is, that, that he's is the jerk? most dominant force in OVW history. Calling for what, minute, what is she doing? Justice, get her out of there. Get out of, I agree, Shannon. Get her out of the ring. We know that Smooth doesn't care that she's a lady. Look at the sick and twisted look. In no. No. In no. Oh. Well, that's an equalizing blow. And... That'll take you down. It doesn't matter who you are. And referee Daniel Spencer checking the walls over here, making sure things. I, did, I didn't see anything, Josh. Did you? What? Nope. What? One, two, three. Yeah, McNeil wins. You're here, Chad McNeil. Oh, revenge is so sweet. Ted McNeil just hit the OVW Heavyweight Champion. I think both of you guys need to go get your eyes checked if you didn't see that. It was a blatant low blow. Can't see anything. I don't know what you ref can't call what the ref didn't see. Yep. You know what I see? A victory for the mama ma 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 man bees. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorn. My name is Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Ted 2. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think it couldn't get any better than this, but you'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. That's OVWWrestlingNetwork.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No. Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Prices so low, they're insane. If a client comes to me and they've been a victim of domestic violence, that's not just a single event. That's a state that they are in. So we're going to address their immediate safety, but throughout that process, I'm dealing with a bullied client. We can't make child custody based on fear, especially when there's no longer something to be afraid of. When we've addressed the attacker and removed them from the situation, now we can make reasoned decisions, not fearful ones. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guests at this time, the OVW Women's Champion, Megan Bain! Megan Bain making your way out here this evening, and if we were really robbed of a championship main event between her and Thunder Kitty last week, thanks to Justin Smooth. Let's take it to Gilbert and see what Megan's Champ, got to good say. good to see you as always. You know, last week on social media, there was a bit of an altercation between you and Shiloh Jones. And out of that, you asked for a mixed tag match at the Saturday Night Special for you to team with King's Ransom against the Entourage and, and, and their lady friend, Thunder Kitty. Now, we know that Dean Hill was away last week scouting tag teams to be challengers for King's Ransom at the Saturday Night Special. And I'm told that that challenge is still going to happen at a later date. But at SNS... July the 6th, those fireworks are going to happen, Meg. You're going to get your mixed tag team match. Yeah. I am the OVW Women's Champion, and I'm the champion for a reason. So I am willing to accept any and all challengers, as I've said a million times before. I do not care who stands across from me. Uh-oh. Well, we know that music. We got company out here. I wish we didn't. I really wish we didn't. <laughs> Yet, here they come. Shiloh Jones, DL3, and Big D, the entourage. You know how much street cred is walking out here right now? It's unbelievable. Street cred? Okay, Shiloh, yeah. I'll give it to. Shiloh, I'll give it to. DL3 and Big D, seriously? Oh, they're oozing street cred. Uh, out of the they're oozing something. They should see a doctor about it. DL? Shiloh, Big D, to what do we owe? Well, Gilbert, I have to inform you, our partner was originally going to be Thunder Kitty. 
Um, but she's a little tied up. She has to defend her reigning Northern Indiana Bingo Championship. So, her bingo a, championship. Excuse me. What? Uh, she's a six-time, I believe, Northern Indiana Bingo Champion. Got some things to do. A 98-year-old wrestling. She uh, she also has to watch all these VHS tapes she has of Murder She Wrote. The weekend is the best time for that stuff. A Angela Lansbury. It was a great oh, I show. I didn't have any berries before this. VHS. Bingo and VHS. You're saying the 98-year-old wrestling sensation is going to miss a match for, for bingo and VHS? Well, not only that, she has to catalog her Werther's Originals collection, so that takes time. <laughs> Can candy. Butterscotch. Extra butterscotch. Butterscotch light. You have got to be kidding me, right? Now. And then also... She's got AARP meetings all weekend, and if you don't go to them, you lose your benefits, and she cannot afford to lose her benefits. That's not even true. I know. I'm not a medical doctor, but I've talked to one. What is really going on here between you goofs? Okay. Okay, you got us. Meg is a rather large woman. And I just don't want anybody to get hurt, okay? We just... We, we, we wouldn't want to hurt a... Uh, to her, her ankle or her thigh or something. We just don't want Thunder Kitty to get hurt. That's all. It sounds like you care about her. I don't care about her. It sounds like you care about her. I don't love her. I never said I love her. I don't love her at all. I didn't say I love her either. I love her less than I love Charlene. Oh. What? Okay, okay, okay. We, we have a better idea. It's okay, because we got another approved wrestler for this match. You guys know her as Valley Vermin, but... Now she's hip hop, VV. <laughs> Wait, hip she's hop, VV. Hip hop, VV. All right. Even more street cred. Um, hip hop, VV is here. Do you take take a pill for that, or? Oh yeah, it comes in pill form or liquid, either one. Huh. Valerie or. Should I say VB? It's a nickname. Anyway, you heard right, Megan. You no longer have a day off this Saturday because you're not going to be fighting the oldest hag in the company anymore. You're actually going to be fighting the cutest and youngest star here. And besides, these guys owe me a favor because at Fort Knox, I actually made their lame 90s act a little bit more bearable. It's okay. It's okay. So, at the SNS, when I beat you with my new besties, that means you're going to have to finally give me what I deserve, a shot at the championship. What about it, Meg? You? <laughs> Listen, I did say I would accept any challengers. And I've beat you once. I'd be happy to do it again. Yeah. This right here is pathetic. I'll see you at the SNS. <laughs> oh, wait uh -oh. a second. Uh, Valerie V. Well, that oh, was a mistake. I don't think she's ready to wait for Saturday. Oh, no. Call her whatever you want. That's Hip Hop Phoebe. Megan Bain has accepted that challenge for the Saturday Night Special. Nobody does that to hip-hop VV. It gets away with it. Well, uh-oh. We know the King's Ransom. This Saturday was supposed to be a fair, clean fight. But now, <laughs> you made it personal. So I was already going to beat you at the SNS, but now... I'm gonna break you. Strong words out of Megan Bain as we head towards the Saturday Night Special. When people understand that estate planning is one of the nicest things you can do for your family, you're preventing confusion, disagreement, and you're preventing people who care about you from having to make important decisions during a time that's very upsetting. Take care of your financial affairs. If You've made your own funeral arrangements. Everything that you do is something else that your children don't have to figure out how to do. 
Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is the official training and medical partner for Ohio Valley Wrestling. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is designed to help manage spine, hip, and knee pain both before and after surgery. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation will ensure that you reach and maintain your lifestyle and fitness goals. Get back in the game of life. Call 502-875-4737 for an appointment now or visit www.pfrhealth.com to learn more. Your life, your health, better. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Kinson, you're backstage at OVW with Jay Bradley. Now, Jay, at the Saturday Night Special coming up, you have a match against former Triple Crown champion Michael Hayes. Can I get your thoughts on that match? You want my, you want my thoughts? I want to give you my thoughts on Michael Hayes in general. Because I'm really sick of Michael Hayes interfering with my business. I, I'm, I'm actually pretty sick of Michael Hayes being in this business. Because, you know, I'm the best heavyweight in the world today. Michael Hayes doesn't belong in the ring with someone like me. Michael Hayes is a, it's a sideshow act. It's a freak show. And let's be honest, kids like you, you dream about growing up being like someone like Jay Bradley. Big, strong, I'm just talking. You hurt, does this hurt you? Whatever. No one dreams about going to war and coming home a cripple like you, Michael Hayes. That's what I... What? Uh, shut up. For eight years. Eight years! Two-legged assholes like you have tried to run me out of this business. For eight years! Michael Hayes has proved him wrong. What was it you called me? Say it again. Say it. A cripple. Say it louder. A cripple! Boy, you have no idea what I'm capable of. You want to call me a cripple? A cripple? Big man, bring your ass out there and watch my match. Watch me compete. Watch me go out there and do what you can't do with two legs. Cripple! I'm going to go out there and show you what kind of man I am. Take that cripple crap and shove it. You could have told me he was behind me. I tried. The following is a gauntlet contest for the OVW Television Championship. Introducing first, Michael Hayes! Well, it doesn't take a lot to make Michael Hayes angry. And I would certainly not want to be in his war path tonight. Bradley got them all fired up backstage before this match. Yes, they did in a fired up... Michael Hayes is not something it's not you want Introducing the second competitor, on the other side of the ring. Lee yeah. Holiday. First time seeing Lee Holiday in an OVW television title gauntlet match out of Nashville, Tennessee. 222 pounds, 28 years old. Doesn't care about much, he says. Holiday just wants to fight. Step in the ring. Michael Hayes, you're get that Let me tell you something about Michael Hayes. There's a look in his eye tonight that I have not seen in a long time. He is focused and he is ready to tear apart anybody that gets in his way in this gauntlet match. Ladies and gentlemen, the Saturday Night Special is tonight as you watch this in the Louisville Market, July the 6th, right here in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road. Tickets available. You can get them online as you watch this at home. Gladiator Sports Network Live. Of course, SNS brought to you by the Knight School of Welding and Lemmy Law Ooh, Offices. Look at Hayes. Look at Hayes unload on Lee Holiday. Hayes just teeing off on Holiday in the ropes there. It is the 4th of July holiday weekend, and well, we'll just say there's going to be fireworks at the Saturday Night Special. And right now it is Hayes who is exploding. That's right. He's not, holiday. not saving any of his energy right now. He is just going full force, 100%. At the Saturday night special, Hayes will square off against the monster of the midway, Jay Bradley. 
two former OVW heavyweight champions colliding. It's going to be monumental, Josh. Oh, it's going to be completely explosive at this Saturday night special. Michael Hayes sending a message to Jay Bradley oh. here. Poor Lee Holiday. And Hayes making quick work of Lee Holiday. Wow. Lee Holiday has been eliminated. Who's next? Introducing the next competitor. I'm not sure anybody wants to be next after that. This is the television title gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. In January, our commissioner, Dean Hill, as Josh O'Hagan makes his way to the ring, our commissioner, Dean Hill, made every television title match a gauntlet. Six superstars, five challengers, and the champion, all questing after one prize. And Josh, oh! As Hagen hits with a neck breaker. And Josh O'Hagan, a practitioner of what he likes to call Irish Jiu Jitsu. Well, Michael Hayes is no stranger to the Jiu Jitsu game, Gilbert. The difference between Irish Jiu Jitsu and traditional Jiu Jitsu is in Ireland, apparently, there are more headbutts and kicks to the head. Oh! I know you looked that up because you don't know anything about either one of them when it comes to fighting, Gilbert. <laughs> Oh, Shannon the Dude, how we missed your presence. Did Wikipedia teach you that? I missed him. Uh-oh, did you hear that? Dude, no reading between the lines here. Hayes just said every single one of these is for you, Jay Bradley. On oh, Hayes with those just headbutts, vicious headbutts right to the sternum. Ooh. Oh, look, look at that. that. Unbelievable power right there from Mike Hayes. Double arm trap, belly to belly, throwing O'Hagan almost all the way across the ring. Yeah, post to post goes O'Hagan. And Hayes looking dead into the camera. Shooting death stares. Straight backstage to Jay Bradley. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, for that cross body. Hayes has got him, though. What is going to happen when Bradley and Hayes go toe to toe, one on one in the ring? Can Hayes do that? To Bradley? No, I'll answer that for you right now. There's another quick victory, and Hayes advances in this gauntlet. That's not Josh happening O'Hagan to Jay Bradley. Has been eliminated. Like Introducing the next competitor. Here comes a superstar who loves to fly high, oh. and Sam Thompson, the one they call Ducky, and he hits fast and in a hurry. But guys, oh! oh. Kick to the head right there. Looked like he was almost going to roll through into that sunset. Caught Hayes off guard with that kick. And this is why positioning in a gauntlet match <laughs> matters so much. Hayes has already gone through two other people, and the duck comes in fresh. That's right. Hayes has gone through him, but Hayes went through Thompson him flies quickly. into the cover. It goes back to what I was talking about at the beginning of the match. Conserving some of your energy right now, which Mike Hayes clearly didn't do in the first couple of matches. Hayes was furious when he came through that curtain. What do you expect? Oh, and you know Jay Bradley's Thompson, watching somewhere right Thompson now. Thompson went for that high risk. Foot slipped off the middle rope, and just that quickly, the momentum pendulum has swung back in Michael Hayes' direction. Oh! oh! Hayes scores with that knee right under the jaw. Duck 0 for 2 when he's going to the air. <laughs> and 1, 2, 3 for Michael Hayes. Thompson he just got has shut been down. eliminated. Introducing the next competitor. And look oh. at Shiloh. Wasting no time to get out here. Smart move. Shiloh wasting absolutely no time, but Gilbert, that just proved. You asked, can Hayes do this to Jay Bradley? Mike has more than one weapon at his disposal that can lay out Jay Bradley. Yeah, but he's still got to chop Bradley down to size. Jay Bradley is 6'4", 6'5", near 300 pounds. Mike, never take... Mike Hayes for granted, somebody, never underestimate him. Somebody write this down, this is a moment in history. I actually agree with Gilbert Corsi for the very first time. Jay Bradley is bigger oh. than any of these guys he's faced so far tonight. Superman punch, Michael Hayes is in trouble. The gauntlet continues, and we gotta take a timeout. Can Hayes, the warrior, get back in the fight? Hi, my name is Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Ted Two. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think, couldn't get any better than this. But, 
You'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. That's OVWWrestlingNetwork.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No. Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Price is so low, they're insane. Back here in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road. Television title gauntlet underway. Michael Hayes was the first man in. Shiloh Jones, the fourth. And during the break, it has been all Jones Whoa. cover here. Shiloh on top, and Hayes is out in two. Every time Hayes managed to get a little bit of momentum behind him, Jones just shut him back down. And look at that sweet rat tail. Look at the hot dogging. I love it. We are pressing <laughs> our way to the Saturday night special where Michael Hayes will square off against Jay Bradley, two former OVW heavyweight champions in a grudge match. Hey, speaking of SNS, how about that mixed tag match that was just made? Hip Hop VV alongside the Entourage, Entourage. 2.0, Shallow Jones oh. and DL3 against Megan Bain and the war in King's Ransom. Let me tell you something. Nobody hang does on, that to Hip Hop TV. Here, here we here. go. Nobody does what Meg did to Hip Hop TV and gets away with it. I can promise you that. She's going to pay for that at the Saturday night special. Bane, the women's champion, promising not just to beat VV, but to break her at the Saturday night special. I hope her insurance is paid up. Yeah, right. I'd like to see that. Shiloh Jones showboating. Yeah. Oh. And connects. Yeah, that knee. Got insult to injury yeah. here. Jones on top, hooks the leg, and I tell you what, we have seen the grit and the resolve inside Michael Hayes, a controversial superstar to say the least. Some people love him, some people hate him, and it depends on the day of the week, the Hayes that you're going to get, but you cannot count out, underestimate, or not respect the heart of a warrior, the there's, heart of this veteran. There's no doubt about it. We've seen for years here at OVW, Mike Hayes Wait. compete, fight. He is a fighter of nothing else. Hold on, can what we get a camera outside the ring? Oh, look at, I want everybody to Wait, see what serious? Hayes is looking at. See what Hayes is looking at. Bradley is at ringside on crutches. Oh, he's hurt. Bradley's not it's hurt. It's a serious a injury. This Jay is mental. just mocking Michael Hayes. This is mental warfare. Mind games heading into the Saturday night special. Try Bradley is just trying to Look at crawl. This. The man is hurt and you're making fun of him. You're mocking him. Crawl under the skin of Michael Hayes. That's not something you really want to do, Jay. Getting on Michael Hayes' bad side never seems to end well. And it doesn't take much. Well, hey, if you get on Jay Bradley's bad side, it's not going to end well for you either. I tell you what. It's going to end with a boomstick. Bradley's presence at ringside may have just woken Hayes up. Hayes has both of those arms trapped. We've seen him do this already once in this match. Hayes looked into the camera before when he did this earlier in the gauntlet, said, Bradley, this is for you. Now Jay gets to see it up close and personal. Ripcord headbutt. But again, can Hayes do this to the much larger Bradley? Shall I'm going to say there's no way special. he does that. There's no way he could do this to a man the size of Jay I Bradley. Mean, Bradley's got a good six-inch height advantage and at least 50, 60 pounds on Michael Wait a minute. Hayes. And now Bradley's in the ring. It's oh. a monster. Jay Bradley oh, is God. okay. He's all right after all. Wait a second. A modern-day miracle. Due to outside interference, Michael Hayes has been disqualified and has been eliminated from the gauntlet. Well, and you know. Wait a minute. Well, Hayes doesn't care much about being eliminated from the gauntlet at this point. All he wants to do is tear apart Jay Bradley. There's no advantage in the gauntlet. So 
falls can f come by pinfall, submission, count out. Hayes did all the heavy lifting. He was on his path to go from beginning to end, and Bradley just messed it up. <laughs> You're just adding more fuel to the fire to two guys who already don't like each other heading into the Saturday night special. Shut Introducing up. the final competitor. We don't have enough referees on staff to keep those two guys apart. Oh, and what we a know fight. Who, who the last competitor is, the champion, William Lutz, who won the title last week because he was in the right place in the right time. And my goodness, could it be deja vu here? But Shiloh's out. Look at this. He's a sitting duck. Lutz won the title on his birthday, his 21st birthday last second, week. And Shiloh Jones doesn't even know where, where he is right now. Why would you not cover him? Well, Lutz, he's there he goes. Sure he's he's out. the dude. There Lutz, you go. Lutz picks the ball. Your winner and still OVW Television Champion, William Lutz. That was the easiest win you're ever going to get as a champion. But hey. You know, wins win, win. Oh, and trust oh, me, it takes it. a champion to know a champion. That's as easy a win you're ever going to get. A win is a win, and you would think <laughs> that William Lutz is going on wrestling to Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, uh, Jessica! Oh my God. Jessica! Jessica! Oh! Oh my God, why would you do? Who are you? I'm Patrick. Patrick, you were rude to Jessica last week. I'm here what? for your massage. You're not touching the champ. No man named Patrick is touching the champ. This is disrespectful. I'm not gonna deal with that disrespect out here, and I'm not gonna be disrespected in here. Everybody in OVW is gonna learn to respect me. I'm the OVW champ. Patrick, get away from me. <sighs> Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The E. It doesn't matter if you go out a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. OBW Rewind, brought to you by Lemmy Law. Need a lawyer? Get Lemmy at LemmyLaw.com. OBW and Lemmy Law, an unbeatable tag team. Title off of you and suspend you for the next 90 days. But then, but then, but then, it dawned on me that when I reinstated Dimes, he has unfinished business. He still has a heavyweight title rematch due to him. And so I thought to myself, the only thing better would be to give him a shot. But, 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 you've got a heavyweight title match coming on uh, our next Saturday night special with Dustin Jackson, and I, I can't, I can't punish Dustin. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thought the only thing better than stripping that title, the only thing better than suspending you, is putting you into the ring against the two men that you can't figure out. The two men that want you more than anybody. The two men that could rock your world. So, the next Saturday Night Special, heavyweight title on the line, you, Dustin, Dimes, three-way dance. What? Three-way dance? All roads right now leading to the Saturday night special, and you can feel the fireworks as we head into this event on July the 6th. That's Saturday. Tonight, as you watch this in the Louisville market, and the stakes were raised, Josh, for the heavyweight title match. Justin Smooth had his hands full enough just with Dustin Jackson. What's going to happen now that it's a three-way dance with Dimes? 
Well, once you throw another man into that competition, things get crazy, Gilbert. Could we have a new champion after the Saturday night special? Hey, and how about the fuel added to the fire between Michael Hayes and Jay Bradley? You know, Gilbert, if I were a betting man, which I am, I would bet that those two are fighting right now, and they're going to fight until the Saturday night special. We'll be lucky if there's anything left with those two. And big words from the OVW women's champion in that mixed tag match that is... So Tell you what, they don't pay me enough for this. What is Sweet Diallo with a chair? He's coming what after us. Last week. What's his issue with the desk, huh? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. I can tell you that much. Smooth issues and with the desk, it's with any and everybody. <laughs> and Dimes is doing Dimes. the same thing he did last week. He's in the right place at the right time. I'm glad Dimes is back on the after roster, and I'm glad Dimes is in the main event at the Saturday Night Wait Special. A uh -oh. And Dimes looks like he's getting ready to go coast to coast. I don't think so. Oh, oh no. Street Justice. Somebody went coast to coast, and it was just as smooth. Street Justice taking Dimes from the top to the floor. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the main event at the Saturday Night Special, now a three-way dance, and here comes that third party, Dustin Jackson, a man who's pinned the OVW Heavyweight Champion shoulders to the mat twice before. The Bro God attacks. Dustin Jackson has been on fire ever since Justin Smooth took that championship and just drilled him with it. Smooth back literally oh. and figuratively is against the ropes. He has two men that he has major problems with who has his number as challengers at the Saturday Night Special. I can tell you right now, Smooth has got bigger problems than us out here. Look at this. Ooh. Could Smooth's moment day? Oh. Oh. What were you saying? I was wondering if Smooth's time as champion could be numbered. Those minutes could be numbered. Those moments could be coming to an end. I'm not convinced yet. Smooth is willing to do whatever it takes to whomever he wants. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Justin's got that chair again. Oh. Right to the hip of Dustin Jackson. Softening up Jackson before the Saturday night special. This is tactical. This is classic smooth. The Trinidad oh. Titan is a master at human chess, and he is moving the pieces exactly where he wants them, heading in to the Saturday Night Special. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a three-way dance with the grandest prize in OVW on the line. Who's leaving SNS? The heavyweight champion. Fireworks for sure. We'll see you tonight at the Saturday Night Special. <laughs>